whatever it is you're doing, I want you to drop it and help me buy a house in the Hamptons. Excuse me? I said I need a large, expensive home in the Hamptons, preferably on the water. Louis, I don't mean to be your business manager, but why are you buying a vacation home when the firm's just getting back on its feet? Because I told Tara Messer that I have a property out there and I hired her to remodel it for me. Okay, let me get this straight. You want to spend a fortune buying a home so that you can spend another fortune remodeling it? It's the only logical way that I can spend time with her. Is it? Yes. What other way could there possibly be? You could just ask her out. Well, I'm not going to do that. Why not? Because I'm not. Louis! Jesus Christ, why are you trying to sabotage my relationship? You have no relationship. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I have no relationship. I'm all alone. Ever since Sheila rejected me, I never thought I would find love again, but there is something... I don't know, there's just something about this woman. I feel like this may be my last shot. I get that, Louis. And if you ask her out, she is going to see a kind, intelligent man that any woman would be lucky to be in a relationship with. But if you do it this way and she finds out, then you'll lose that shot because she's never gonna trust you again. Look at me, Donna. Women like that. Please. I need her to get to know me first. All right, Louis. I'll help you find a house. Jesus Christ, there you are. What's going on with the house, hon? I am on top of it, Louis. Well, it doesn't look like you're on top of it. It looks like you're drinking a goddamn cup of coffee. Maybe that's because I was on the internet all night trying to find houses for you because I knew that nothing would ever meet your insane specifications. Is that true? Not one word. God damn it, Donna, this is important. Right now, there are hundreds of men out there with beach houses and Tara could be meeting any one of them. Right now, I wish I was meeting any one of them. Donna, I thought you understood this isn't a joke. I know it isn't, Louis. And that's why I haven't sent you anything I've seen so far, because I haven't found the right thing yet. And what if I said I lost confidence in your ability to know what I'm looking for in any given situation? Then I would say that that is exactly why I've been avoiding you. And if you had any self-awareness at all, you would stop bothering me and instead trust me for once. Well, we both know that's never going to happen. Well, then why don't you go find your own house, Louis? Can I talk to you a second? What is it, Louis? Can't find a house. House? What house? I don't know anything about a house. Certainly not for a person who doesn't have any confidence in my ability to know what he's looking for in a given situation. Donna, please, can't we just pretend that I didn't say what I said like we usually do? No, Louis, we can't. Because I need to know that you have spent at least one second contemplating what your little outburst was about. I know what it was about. Really? What is that? I miss you, Donna. I miss having you as my secretary. I miss you too, Louis. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Gretchen's not great. Who would? It's just, I'm just saying she's not you. Who is? Nobody. Is this the kind of thing you're looking for? Oh my God, it's perfect. Is it still available? An offer went in this morning. We have to beat it. No, Lewis, we don't. That offer was yours. Did they take it? We find out tomorrow. <laughs> Donna? No, 